Hello, my beautiful friends. It is Miss Fushi, and we are back with Pocket Mirror. We have just ended up in this gosh forsaken basement after the elevator crashed and Harpe went crazy. And now we're down here. I haven't seen this. a save point in a while. There's a key. A yellow flute. What does this do? A yellow metal flute adorned with a goat skull. Huh. That door up there keeps opening. A red flute. Okay. Scissors. Flute. Hasn't been a save in a while. Dying would be most unfortunate. We don't know what these flutes do. Okay, go down here. A purple flute. Black. It just glows purple, but it's black. So there's holes there. I wonder what the difference is. We got the yellow first. Red. There was a reason for this annoying music. There we go. There we go. Play, play, play. Perfect. Because it goes do, 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 and that's it. It took me a little bit to figure out. It's okay. There's no need for any of that, my girl. Harpe. I believe I told you not to leave me. Why did you leave me? Uh... Why are you here, miss? Answer me. I... I just... Run. Why? After all I've done for you, my girl. Harpe! Tell me, was it something I did? No, I... Was it something I said? Harpe, that's not it. What is it then? Why do you avoid me? Uh, guys. Why did you leave me? Harpe, please. Why do you reject me? Harpe, stop. Am I that insignificant to you? No. 
Am I that insignificant to you, my girl? No! Then what am I? What am I to you? You're my friend. I'm just trying to help you. This... Oh, gosh. That is not your role. That is not your role, miss. What? Harpe. Where are they? What? Guys, the color's all gone. <gasps> What's happening? We can't actually move. We can just turn around. And I can pause it, but that's it. What's happening to us? family died. A mirror for each of them. It's like it's telling us a story. Hey. I can't do anything about it. Gracious. We definitely are going to save. I have to go get Harpe. Harpe wants to kill you, so maybe not. Okay. So we've got some chairs. And then a door. They're locked. Hmm. Doors on the side. We're in a theater. We're gonna see the boy. <sighs> the boy. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Such a tough crowd. It's you. Me. And who might that be? Pretty ill-mannered, aren't you, my girl? What? <laughs> and rather slow as well. No, that's not... Hush now, you... Clasomaniac. Sheesh. How I hate these noisy munters. Moving on. Tonight's show is a truly unprecedented sight. And certainly not for the faint of heart. Does he have Harpe? Now without further ado, here is a tale I like to call Serendipity. Whoa! You mustn't dwell in guilt, milady. I don't want to shatter Harpe. Do not fret. I shall see to it in your stead. Your protection is my pledge to you. Mm -hmm. 
孩呗。So, once upon a time, graced with strength and loyalty, was a single girl in shining armor. Yielding endurance and secrecy as her weapons, she left on a solitary journey. Indulging in demanding responsibilities in order to become the finest example of righteousness, a fastidious path to provide closure for her beloved. In order to protect what would never be hers, in order to preserve her privileged position, the maiden's love knew no boundaries, nor did it rely on selfish reasoning. A cruel yet necessary sacrifice. Such a tedious and bland story, isn't it? Playing pretend had become the latest trend, it seems. Clad in her prideful attitude, our knight in shining armor put up the biggest of shows, and quite a show that was. Too bad her audience didn't enjoy her little fantasy as much as she did. You're not my daughter, she scorned. You're not my sister, he laughed. You're not my daughter, he mocked. Indeed, she wasn't. Betrayal is always best served with a little disdain, I'd say. Reunited with her tears, our hero and wept and wept, despite all my efforts, my sacrifice. I don't want to shatter Harpe. Promises are well kept, not forgotten. The same applies to one's reality, does it not? Did we do something? I don't know if we got the good endings, guys. That's looking pretty dark. The end. <laughs> Harpe. I've got to find her. Now we can go in the center door, you guys. Are you ready? Are we going up to her chambers now? We're going up. Going up, going up. Up and up and up. I don't mind waiting. But wasn't that hers? I thought the room with the f the pink hair was hers. Okay. Whoa. This is gorgeous. This is really pretty. Uh. Ah, the game froze. All right, let's try and walk slowly and maybe it won't crash this time. There we go. This is beautiful. This is really pretty. Gosh, some love went into this game, man. What is
is this place? I don't know. Up or down? Follow the lights? Yeah, follow the lights. Okay, here we are. Heart Bay. Heart Bay! <coughs> Leave! Don't come any closer. Heart Bay, you're pathetic, aren't I? What is it you want from me? What do you mean? I've given you everything I could. Everything I have. Everything I am, I am for you. Harpe, stay away, my girl. This isn't a scene you'd like to witness. No, Harpe. Harpe. This is fine, miss. I was never needed. No. My existence is a mere misunderstanding. She took out her eyes. I couldn't gain your trust. Or even protect you. Harpe, no! All I've done has amounted to nothing. I was never able to guide you. That's not true. In the end, I was never, I was never able to protect you. No, not for myself, not even from Lizette. I can't. Lizette, what have I done? I can't protect you from Lizette. What are you talking about? Lizette is going to take you away from me. Harbe, please. What have I done? You can't meet Lizette. Not Lizette. Please, don't go near her. Please don't. Don't get near her. Wait, Harbe. Let me help you. Lizette is... You are... Harbe! Everything I was. I was. For you. No. Harpe. No. Not you too. She's gone. <laughs> who's Lizette? Is that that boy who's actually a girl? I'm sorry, Harpe. We put the clothes back. Ever since that fateful day, my soul has become restless with regret. I have been driven by greed and all I have done, blamed my own foolishness on the innocent. I have exchanged my humanity for a chance at happiness for both myself and my family. But for you, my dear daughter, I have left nothing but shame. What does that mean? Alright guys, Lizette. There's someone named Lizette. Oh wow. What is this, the River Thames? The River Styx. Not the River Thames, the River Styx.
Looks like we're gonna meet Lizette. Whoever she is. It's so cold. I don't want to be on my own. There's no need to be alone. I don't know who I am or even my name. Perhaps she has the answer. Perhaps even you have the answer. I'm scared. I don't want to go on. I'm scared of the answer. The truth is lurking near. Perhaps even nearer than you'd like to admit. Why me? We are all. None of this has to do with me. None of this is our fault. And yet, here you are. It is too late to go back now. There are choices to be made. What can I do for them? What could they want from me? I wonder, what could you ever want from them? Who was that? Here we are, wherever this is. Wow. Where am I? I have no idea where you are. It's a little like there's puddles here. Wherever we are, we're somewhere dark. And danger is coming. We're back in the ruins of... A house? What are these? Midnight Circus. A circus? <gasps> Alright guys. It's that doll again. Let's go ahead and save. Again. It's hanging from nowhere. Why not? We just saved. And that's why we saved the game, because I knew something was going to happen. No, we have to pull it. Can you run away from it? There we go. We just had to move. The third one hits us regardless. What just happened? You just did something special, Snowflake. Okay. Let's see what we opened. How does it feel to be this beloved? Oh. What's going on? I have to meet Lizette. Nemo! Don't play with the hairbrush. Don't do it. Good boy. Sorry. I must be brave. You can do it. We believe in you. A pumpkin. He can't talk. <gasps> Are you okay? I don't like this place. Did it just... Mr. Pumpkin? Maybe I could carve its face out. Can we get a pair of scissors from the floor? I'm gonna see if we can pick them up. There we go. I still don't know what the knife and fork are for. Maybe we missed its purpose. Okay, let's take our little scissors and we'll give him a mouth. Right? Maybe we just need to face it. Let's 
see. Carve him a mouth? Now that feels a hundred times better. What are you doing in a place like this? I'm just waiting for the show to start. It sure took a long time to get here, didn't it? What do you mean? I don't know. What do you want me to mean? Anyway, do me a favor, will you? What is it? There's something I want to show you. Won't you take us both there? I can't walk, you see. I don't know if... Great, so let's get going. She's really eager to meet you, huh? How does it feel to be this famous? You're so bland. What are you talking about? Just hurry up. It's so dark here. Leave it to me. Oh, thanks, Mr. Pumpkin. Impressive, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. No problem. You won't be thanking me later, believe me. What do you mean? Come now, you can stop faking it. What? What? What are you doing just standing here? We don't have all day. <coughs> uh, if that scared you, then just wait until you meet her. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean what I meant. There's nothing else I can mean other than what I meant. You're not the most interesting of people, let me tell you that. You keep saying that. See? Absolutely terrible. Understand what you're talking about. I'm so lost and alone, please don't tease me anymore. That's not... What do you mean to say? Perhaps you'd like to stop for a while and drink some tea. Or maybe play some hide and seek. <laughs> please stop. Why can't you handle a bit of heat? I... This is why you're boring, miss. Anyway, we're almost there. Come now. I could carry you myself, but I don't have any limbs, as you may have noticed. We gonna die. <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin. Sweet, sweet music to my ears. We gotta do I'm not the one, I'm not the one, I'm not the one. I feel like we got like a really bad ending, you guys. And I'm so sorry. I'm scared. Come now, you know perfectly well who she is, don't you? I Really? Okay. We went a different way, <coughs> so we didn't find her. Now that was fun, wasn't it? Where are we? <laughs> you wouldn't know even if I told you. You never know anything, do you? Isn't it time for you to remember? Remember what? This reality doesn't belong to you anymore, miss. You're far from being the one looking for answers. Who are you? Your time has come, foolish girl. May you greet her in my place. <laughs> what just happened? Oh. A safe spot. Thank goodness. Us? Mother? A child? My daughter throwing an unsightly tantrum due to a childish comment her brother made. There's no
no answer. She must still be asleep. What? Who knocked? The picture changed. What are we doing now? She was presenting a speech to the crowd at the same particular event. Wait. There's no answer. She must still be asleep. Okay, it's the same one. And again? I couldn't recognize my own daughter. She never showed this kind of behavior before. There's no answer. She must still be asleep. No, wait! She must still be asleep. Wait, I'm still here! Wait, please! I'm still... I'm awake. What? Could it be? Angel? Where have you been? I was worried about you. I'm so glad you're here. Are you alright, Angel? I'm fine, but... What happened? I just... Everything just happened so fast. I'm still... I feel confused. We have time, Angel. Do you want to talk about it? It's about Harpe. She shattered. There was nothing else I could have done. I just... Isn't that how it's supposed to be? Angel... I understand it's hard, but you can't forget the reason why you're here. I know, but to me, Harpe was... Let us forget about Harpe for now. I know I'm being harsh, but we have bigger things to focus on now. I understand, but Angel, please. I understand. Listen, she's starting to move. What do you mean? Please, find your way out of here as soon as you can. You have to come to me. We need to be reunited before it's too late. <gasps> oh no. This time, for sure, I will finally take your head. Aren't you hysterical? I know I am. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. For so long. It's been so long, so long. Please. What is it now? Are you scared? Please, shut up. You're finally mine, sleeping maiden of horrors. I waited all this time just to shatter you. No. Uh, I can't move. Give it to me. No. No? We'll see about that. <laughs> Wait! Huh? Why are you doing this? Aren't you the same as Harpy and Fleta? <laughs> me? The same as those failures? <laughs> you flatter me, Missy. Admit it. <laughs> I was the only one who ever gave you what you needed most. <laughs> what you wanted the most. I'm done with this farce. 
It's time for you to shatter as well. Miss Goody Two Shoes. Angel! Oh my! This is such a surprising twist of events, is it not? Let her go! You can't do this! Aren't I doing it already? Give it to me, Missy. You know who deserves it most, don't you? It's no use denying it now. And I'll know! Give it to me, and I'll put an end to all of this. Isn't that what you've always wanted? Stop it! <gasps> and Jell, don't listen to anything she says! <laughs> Why, isn't this the most heartwarming of stories? Reflections of the same mirror? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Just let us go, please. Us? <laughs> so that's how it is. Get away from Angel. Get away from her right now, you fiend. No, please. Don't you dare get in my way. You don't have a right to do this to us. All this is your fault. Shut up. If it weren't for you, I could have gotten there by now. Stop it, Lizette! <gasps> no! Stay away! You haven't changed in the least, have you? This has always been a petty game for you, always! No, that's not- It's time to face it, Missy. There's no place for you here. You're no longer needed. You don't get it, do you? All this is your fault. They wouldn't have shattered if it weren't for the likes of you. That's not true. That's it. Keep on denying it. How do you know my name? I asked you a question. How do you know my name? I'm gonna lie. I remembered your name. I remembered your name, Lizette. You filthy liar. No, Lizette, I just... Wait, Lizette! I just want to understand you. Are... Are we free? Twitching from time to time, the girl's body rests frozen on the ground. I'm not Lisette, I'm not Lisette. Ooh, that's creepy. What is this? A porridge or something. Into the mirror we go. Or behind it, just. There's just too much going on. I think this just might be a super long episode. Come closer. Who's there? Don't be afraid now. Come. I'm waiting for you. That voice. It sounds just like mine. I'll never know if I don't try. Huh? Whoa. It's like a literal Alice in Wonderland down the rabbit hole. Careful. Visuals on that were really cool. Oh, thank God there's water. If 
you can get out of the water. Are you okay, miss? We have to kind of swim our way. It looks like ice. Maybe it's really cold. Here's a place. There we go. Are you okay? She's been through so much. I'd have a horrible time dealing with something like this. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I don't want to be here. I didn't want them to shatter. I didn't want any of this. I don't want to be here. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. I don't want to wake up. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> what? Look. All he'd do is hide. You filthy coward. You have no right to be here. Get out. Get out. green one. Do you like crying on your own that much? No, I... I didn't mean to cry. You never mean anything you do, do you? I do. I do, but... You just need to believe in yourself for once. Who wrote that? Fleta. I don't know what to do. up these stairs. That's the start. Here's where we save. Everything looks so big. Who's there? Is someone there? Is uh, me. Are you Lizette? Lizette? You Lizette? No, I'm I'm here to find who I am. I'm not Lizette. Lizette? Give me Give me <laughs> what? Give it to me. It's just as yours as it is mine. I'll get mirror. <gasps> no! Give me what's mine. Give me back what's mine. Lizette, you just won't admit it, will you? Lizette, it's time to stop playing games. You know perfectly well who you are. No? 
Was that just a trick of the mind? <gasps> Lizette? Are you there? Lost in the corners of purity is a soul, whose ambition is nothing short of grand. Torn by disdain, blinded by dim whispers, wrath and sorrow take her by the hand. The mirror? Entrusted to a deep slumber, the body of a girl rests immobile on a pure white flower bed. Lizette! Left to wander in uncharted waters, grasping the last drops of hope, mercilessly torn, an entity left to tatters with nothing left but a dreaded envelope. Grief? What's this? A blue mirror shard. Okay. Put it here. <sighs> Shackled to a deep sleep, the figure of a girl rests immobile in a pure white flower bed. Another Lizette. Clad in flames of passion, contradictory to one's greed for pleasure, to stain one's soul as it disdains fashion, in a deluge which knows no measure. Sounds pretty angry. Okay, what's this? A red mirror shard. I wonder if I should put the shards down. Uh, left? And then put down blue. Right? Nope. Let's do... Uh, facing the opposite way. Maybe they need to diverge. Okay. And then put down red and have it face white. Here we go. And then I'm guessing pocket mirror goes down. I better not pick it up now. Again. Was that grieved tears trickled down fair skin, hurt akin to overwhelming madness, possession, passion, and haunting malice, clad in a certain girl's injustice. Get away. <gasps> uh, 
a dog. Another save. Use it. What is this place? <laughs> Look who's to visit Lizette! <laughs> what are you so scared of, hmm? Lizette? Is it this, perhaps? Was that no? <laughs> it's no use feigning ignorance, Missy. You know what you did. Was that please? You listen. Isn't this all you've always wanted? There is nothing to be ashamed of, Missy. It's no secret what you did to poor Lizette, is it now? There's that bad habit of yours again, Missy. Pocket. Pocket mirror. What is it now, Lizette? Give me the mirror. No, I can't, Lizette. She wants the mirror, Missy. I can't. What can you give us, then? What have you ever given poor Lizette, huh? My pocket mirror. <laughs> oh? So you know the answer. Mirror. Lizette, no. Come on now, Lizette's hungry. You have something I want. So what should I feed her? Give me what I want. What else could I give her? I don't think... Wait... The candy cane? What is this? I want to help you, not hurt you. Help me? What just happened? Was that? Did I do the right thing? Oh no. Oh. That's always good. Huh. Welcome? Lizette? Lizette, can you hear me? <sighs> what are we doing? Papers. These are... Must break that pocket mirror. I have to set someone free. Was that wait? Wait! What is this? What's going on? Wow, guys. This is insane. On that fateful night, I gained everything and lost. Everything. Whoa. I believe this sacrifice of mine has benefited you, my dear.
I exchanged my most beloved one for a dubious promise, one which has deprived you of your freedom. Oh, my dear children, how I regret this sacrifice of mine. Lizette! Lizette, wait! Underwater. Hidden away in the forest depths. I exchanged your name with a certain someone. For a single chance at happiness. All I can ask of you now is your forgiveness and to please. Do not ever let it go, do you understand? Yes? Down we go. 